The prince hasn't been on the tube for over 20 years, but he was given an easy ride of it today. A car from the palace to Green Park Station, the crowds kept at bay, and no ticket formalities. Even the advertisements on the escalator had been censored. None of the usual underwear to titillate the commuter, so the prince had to make do with laughing at the sight of the photographers struggling to keep up. The media are on the move, he called us. There were the line of dignitaries to meet, including the General Secretary of the National Union of Railwaymen, Sidney Wheel, who'd got the signalman to postpone industrial action out of respect for the royal visit today. Which was just as well, because the 12.32 was already at the platform, and the prince was asked to push the starting button. An agonising moment of doubt, before the train started with something of a jolt, on the one-stop historic ride to break open the three-mile, 87 million pound line between Stanmore and Charing Cross. It was only after the journey that the prince was allowed to play at the ticket machine. So after all, as he explained to his audience, he was something of an exceptional visitor. I never thought, I must say, that uh, I would uh, end up addressing a captive audience in one of the, the underground stations. However, I'm delighted. You are captive because they shut the gate. Here. <laughs> then the final formality, and the Jubilee line was officially open, that is, to the public tomorrow morning. Sue Lloyd Roberts, News at 10, on the Jubilee line. <laughs>